Hello, today I'm going to be talking about how to use Amazon Marketing Services to create a sponsored product advertisement. And these are very common ads you see on Amazon and you can use them to actually boost the sales of whatever product you're selling, whether it's a book or something else. And for my own business, I sell all kinds of products, including books and things that are not books uh, that appear in other areas of Amazon. And this is how, how it works. Maybe the first place to get started, actually, before we go to new campaign and create a sponsored product ad, is to see what they look like on Amazon. So let's do that. Okay, by the way, this will look the same on Mac or Windows or any other compute, desktop computer that you are using. Um, but I do not recommend um, creating these advertisements on a small device like a, a mobile phone because it'll be torture trying to uh, copy and paste information into the uh, AMS um, uh, creation tool. So anyways, here we are in Amazon. I've searched for Dropbox in all, and it shows me 993 results for Dropbox. And at the top, there are actually two different ad types. And these are ads that I created but they're not quite the same. The first one up, the, up at the top here is called a headline search ad. And I created this advertisement, and actually I have another video that shows you how you can create one too. But I'm more interested in the ads that come below that. And you'll see that, by the way, th the search results includes a kind of organic search. And this is search that naturally appears in the Amazon results um, you know, as a part of their algorithm for presenting uh, information about the products that they sell based on the keywords that people use to search for them. Uh, but if you get a sponsored product ad, it may show up right at the top of the page. Well, at least if there's no headline search ad. If there's a headline search ad, that will show up first, but then sponsored product ads will show up. And these are ads that I created. You can see there's a little description. For some reason, it's showing two of them, possibly because you know, these are separate ads for the paperback and the Kindle edition. Um, but then if you go down to the next page of results, so I click on the next page, I should see some more sponsored product ads. Yeah, so my headline search ad shows up and then you'll see sponsored product ads created by other people. So somebody else created these two ads. One of them is for a so-called Dropbox where you can, you know, put a, an envelope and it will be securely protected there. And another one for a book called Simple Computer Tips for for busy people. So those are this those are examples of people of a sorry sponsored product ads showing up in search, but sponsored product ads can show up in other places too. And actually if you go to the product page for another somebody else's book. So this is another book about Dropbox. And if you scroll down, you'll see these two carousels. The first one is customers who bought this item also bought these items. And you can see that there's a bunch of books that um, are people there. Whenever people buy this book, they're also buying these books, including my book. This shows up here. But below that, you'll see another carousel that says sponsored products related to this item. And these are, these are paid advertisements. I paid for this one here, and I'm assuming uh, either the publisher or the author paid for these books to show up in, here as well. And these are useful because people, they like to browse and see, see the other stuff that might be related or might be interesting to them. And you can see another sponsored product carousel is showing up here. Okay. It will show up in mobile, on the mobile app as well, um, but I'm not going to get into uh, the, kind of the specifics about that. But just know that if you pay for an AMS sponsored products advertisement, it will show up in lots of places on Amazon, including search results and on product pages. So... Let's get started on creating one. Go, uh, go to ams.amazon.com, either on the main page or on the campaign manager, which is this page here. You'll see a button, new campaign. Click on that. And then you'll be able to choose the type of ad you want to create. And you should see either all four types or maybe just two or three types, depending on the type of AMS account that you have. Um, one thing to note, before you get started on, on actually building the ad, you just need to prepare a few assets first. This won't take long. So there's a couple assets that you may need. One, one asset is a headline or a tagline for the ad. So I'm going to, I'm going to be creating an ad for the book that I, uh, one of the book that my publishing company sells called Microsoft Word in 30 minutes. 
And you can see I've created some kind of taglines I can use. And this is actually based on the existing marketing copy I had for the book that appear on like the back cover of the book or on the website for the book. So I just took some of those sentences and I put them into this text document. And then I have some descriptions too. And I'm careful to make sure that the descriptions are, they fit within the uh, format that AMS allows. So I think it's no more than 150 characters. So this particular um, kind of this blurb about the product, it's, it's uh, 150 characters long, including spaces. And I have a few more of them too. Then below that, I have this giant list of keywords. So these are the terms that will trigger the ad showing up in search results or maybe on somebody else's product page. So you can see it's pretty long. I say it's probably 50 terms and it's related to the book, uh, Microsoft Word in 30 minutes. So I have uh, the names of other books. You're allowed to do that as well as the names of other authors. I have the names of the product, Microsoft Word, um, Word User Guide, Word User Manual. Um, these are a competing publishing company maybe titles that people might use if they're interested in this type of book, administrative assistant. So I've made a list of these of these um, terms and I reuse them over and over and over again for many different ads. So this saves me a lot of time if I have this uh, scratch pad, this simple text document prepared with my uh, taglines, descriptions, and keywords. Okay, so that's all prepared. Let's go back to AMS, click on create an ad and then click sponsored products. So it gives you two options here. Standard ad, um, advertise a, one or more products per campaign without a custom text or custom text ad. And here's the difference. This here, yeah, actually let's go back one page. Okay. Here, here's a sponsored product ad I created, actually two of them for the same book, just different versions. Um, you can see that it includes a description so this is the custom text. But sometimes the ad may look more basic than that. Um, these actually have descriptions as well. Sometimes there's no description. It'll just have the title and the picture of the product. So basically, when you're creating a sponsored product ad, you have a choice between creating just the standard ad, which is, it'll just show the picture and the price, basically, of the product, maybe the title, and then the custom text. So let's do custom text. Okay. Choose products to advertise. That's our first step. There's a little search engine here. Select Amazon, and then the product I want to sell. So I'm selling Microsoft Word in 30, whoops, in 30 minutes. Okay, it shows up right at the top. This is the book. It's by Angela Rose. I'm going to add that. Okay, so I can, I, this is all I need. I'm just advertising the paperback edition of this book. Um, and it says, actually, you've reached the maximum number of products you can advertise. That's okay. Campaign name. I always give it the name of the, the basic name of the product so I can find it later. So I call it Word SP, stands for Sponsored Product. And then maybe I'll use the uh, description I'm going to, I'm going to, um, I'm going to have. So let's say the name of this ad will be Word SP take your Microsoft Word skills to the next level. And that way, when I come back later on to look at all, I have something like, I don't know, 150 campaigns, it'll be easier for me to find it because I've given it this, I'm actually using in the name of the advertising campaign, the same text that will show up. Average daily budget, $5 per day. Minimum, the minimum is $1 per day. Um, I think $5 is a good amount just to get started. And just so you know, you may not spend $5 per day. That's the maximum that you'll spend. And actually for most of my campaigns, I seldom spend $5 per day. Um, that's because Amazon may not be able to match up my advertisement with somebody who's, uh, with people that are actually interested in, in you know, ch learning more about it. Um, and then you can either run it continuously starting today, or you can select a date range. If you're just getting started, select a date range. Maybe make it two months long or three months long. So let's have this go three months. And the reason I do, I'm, I'm advising this is because if you run campaign continuously starting today, if you forget about the ad or maybe you, know, you get sick or you're preoccupied with other aspects of your business or your life and you're not paying attention to the performance, you can end up spending a lot of money 
um, because Amazon will just keep on running the ad, the ad and charging you for it. So $5 per day, 365 days per year. If it's actually maxing out, you'll end up spending you know, $1,700 or $1,800 per year. And maybe you're not getting uh, that much back in terms of the uh, return on investment. So limit the date range. And you can change this date later if you want, if, it's, if, it, if the ad is successful. Select a targeting type, automatic targeting. Um, save time and let Amazon target your ads to all relevant customer searches based on your product info. I don't like doing this because I'm not convinced Amazon actually really knows what it's doing in terms of um, automatic uh, targeting your ads. Sometimes it might show ads next to stuff that has nothing to do with what I'm, you know, what the book is about or what the product is about. And uh, I prefer doing manual targeting. Your ads will appear when a customer search matches the keywords that you provide. Let's do that. Now, interestingly, ad suggested keywords. So Amazon conveniently generates a list of uh, words that might fit with your um, with your with your campaign. And this is actually a pretty good list. I'm looking through it. Yeah, these are the same. These are the types of terms that I want. Um, so they include like this, this is about Microsoft Word, which is a software product. So this is the official name of the product, Word 2016 or Microsoft Word. So I, I like those. Um, however, this is the name. This is the name of the book itself. And of course, I don't want to put an ad for my own book on the product page. So I'm not going to include that one. So if I wanted to, I could just go through and start clicking this or clicking add all. Um, if you do that and the default is 50 cents, you'll end up paying, uh, the, the maximum people will pay for clicking on the ad is 50 cents. So uh, that's one problem right there. The other problem is, as I said, I'm not sure some of these, these uh, suggested terms are relevant, like make it bigger. What does that have to do with Microsoft Word? Um, so I think I'm going to actually do another way of uh, manual targeting. That is adding my own keywords. And remember, I showed you this list of keywords down here. I'm just going to copy and paste that whole thing. You can copy and paste it from a text document or a Word document or a spreadsheet. Put the cursor in here and then paste it in. So go to edit, paste. So I just pasted all those keywords in there. I know these keywords are relevant. I've created them myself. It includes many of the same ones that Amazon suggested as well as some other ones, including for competing book titles. Amazon uh, lets you do that and in fact encourages you to do that, to use competing titles. There's nothing against Amazon's rules that say you cannot wow. use competing titles in your ad campaigns and, uh, for keyword searches. Um, match, there's a couple different options here. The um, negative phrase or uh, exact phrase or broad, I'll just quickly run through it. Exact means if people search for exact, like the phrase word processing, it must exactly match this phrase for the ad to show up. And the problem with that is sometimes people don't search for just word processing. They'll, they'll like put down word processing book or something. And if you say exact, that means the ad will not be triggered. So it's better to use broad, which includes everything. This negative phrase or negative exact, this is useful if you want to exclude phrases. So maybe you found that you're selling a product that um, people are using a keyword and they find your product but they never buy the ad. Maybe it's it's by mistake or or something like that. So like let's say that I wanted to exclude um, you know uh, Google Docs from the search. I would type in Google Docs over here and then I'd use negative negative phrase or negative exact to make sure that that does not, that does not uh, trigger the ad showing up. But all of these terms I have here, all 50 of them, I'm gonna use broad, CPC bid, I don't, I don't use their default, it's usually too high. I usually start at 20 cents or 30 cents or 40 cents. So I'm gonna do um, 31 cents and click add. And what it's, what it's done is it's added all of those keywords um, at 31 cents. I can remove them if I have second thoughts, or I can change the bid. So let's say I just want to raise this one a little bit. I can do that, type in 35 cents. It's good. If I want to add more keywords, I can do that. Now let's say actually, let's actually do that little trick I just said, Google Docs, whoops. I'm gonna put this as a negative exact, meaning that it'll be excluded from the results. You can't bid on it. So. 
I just put that into my list. You'll see that Google Docs, negative exec. That means if people search for this phrase, my ad will not show up. And that's what I want. I don't want people searching for this to see my book about Microsoft Word because obviously they're interested in Google Docs, not in Microsoft Word. So I want to exclude those people. But all these other ones, they're going to be in my list. Okay. Let's continue on. Custom text. Just a quick refresher. Here are the sponsored product ads. Here's the Dropbox, the, t the cover, the title. And then here's the custom text that I created on that ad. Learn how to master Dropbox, a desktop and mobile app for storing and sharing photos, documents, spreadsheets, and other computer files. Okay. I want to do the same thing for my Microsoft Word ad. And on my little scratch pad, I have the phrase. Um, most people know how to use Microsoft Word to write simple documents, but what about Word sophisticated formatting, design, and collaboration tools? Let's use that one. And actually, I just remembered, whoops, okay, it's giving me an error message. The text is too long, too many characters. So I can, um, what if I eliminate this word, sophisticated? Maybe that will do it. Yep, that fits. Um, only one other thing I want to change, because remember that the name of the campaign I called it Take Your Microsoft Word Skills to the Next Level. I'm actually using different text. So I'm just going to call this one, Most People Know How to Use Microsoft Word. That will be the name of the campaign. Word SP, Most People Know How to Use Microsoft Word. That, that way, when I'm browsing the list of ads later on, I know that it's going to be based on this particular text. Here's a preview of the ad. Looks pretty good. And of course, you know it will look a little bit different. This is uh, for search results. It will look a little bit different if it shows up in other places. I'm ready to go. I click Submit Campaign for Review. And my campaign was successfully created. It'll take a couple days to review it, but hopefully it will pass uh, their criteria. So that's how to create a, a uh, sponsored products ad on Amazon Marketing Services. And also be sure to check out my other videos for creating headline search ads and product display ads too. Thank you.